Let's recover your Google account or Gmail account password without having access to any of your recovery email address or phone number or any other verification method or any other OTP code. Using this method, not only you can recover your Google and Gmail account, you can create a new password without having access to any of your old passwords. As well as this method will work for both Android and iOS users. So if you're an iPhone user, you can follow the step on the pop-up video. So for the first method, you can use this Google application, Gmail or Google, but type up, then open settings, again, type down and find out password and account. In that section, scroll down, then select add account. Here you have to select Google. Now just wait a few seconds until it gets checked. After that, you will get this sign in window. Here, I believe everyone has your Gmail ID. So enter your Gmail ID like this, then tap the next button. Now it asks you to enter your password. Here you can try out any of your last password, but if you don't remember that, just select forgot password or forgotten password. Now it asks you to select at least one of these two step verification method. You can select your Google authentication application code or if you generate some backup code, you can use those backup code too. As well as if you add a recovery phone number or recovery email address, you can select that. Then they will send a one time verification code via SMS or via email. But if you can't access any of those, just tap try another way to sign you in. But the problem is, if you couldn't answer any question, you will get this error message call couldn't sign you in. Here I will show you a simple trick, but if you want to watch the different ways or alternative ways to fix this error, you can find error fixing video link in the description. So let's go for simple fix. You can change your network mode. If you're using Wi-Fi, you can switch to your mobile network. As well as if you're using mobile network, you can switch to familiar Wi-Fi network. Then turn on your location permission. After that, for the second method, I recommend you to use your Google application. You can use the Google search bar or you can use this Google search widget. Then you can type and search how to recover your Gmail account or Google. Then you have to select the this search result. After that, you will get this Google account help page. Under forgot your password, you have to tap this blue color link called recover your Google account or Gmail. Then you will get this recovery page. Enter the email ID, then tap the next button to go forward. Now it asks you to enter your password. Since we don't remember our password, we can just tap try another way but you can try out any of your last password that you used to log into your Google account or Gmail account previously, but none of them didn't work. You can go for a alternative or two-step verification method. Here, it asks me to select a phone, then they will send a pop-up message to verify my identity. But if you can't access that device right now, all you have to do is tap try another way to Go for another two step verification method. Like earlier, it asked me to use Google authentication application code. The most important thing is you have to select at least one of these verification methods. So if you don't remember or if you can't access any of these, all you have to do is just tap try another way. Then it will show you a different recovery option like this one. You can use your backup code, but if you don't have any backup code right now, just tap try another way, then you can go back. Then if you already add a recovery phone number or if you turn on two-factor authentication using a phone number, you can select that phone number. Then they will send a two-step verification code or one-time verification code via SMS to this phone number. Sometimes they ask you to confirm your phone number then you can enter the code here under confirm the code that you received. But if you can't access your mobile or if you can't get any SMS, just tap try another way to sign you in. 
then it will show all your recover email address and alternative email address like we did our phone number they asked me to confirm the code that we receive but since i can't access any code or there is no any other way just tap try another way to sign you in after a few seconds google give this alternative recovery option here they ask you to add a new email id here they say we need some time to make sure you are the real owner of this account so enter another email address enter a new email address that you can access don't enter your recovery a or any other alternative one enter brand new email address then you have to verify this email address so they will send a one time verification code like this to your new recovery email address open that email then you can see this kind of google verification code all you have to do you can either copy this code to the clipboard and paste it there or you can remember this code and go back and enter it then this will be your new recovery email address and all other two-step verification and recovery method will be removed after a few hours they will send a recovery link you can see the new recovery link will be sent to this new email id or new recovery email address just wait a few hours after that you will get this kind of email so you have to open that email it mentioned here is the link to recover your account so you can use this link so you can see the link under get started button so all you have to do just tap get started button within next seven days after that seven days this recovery link will be expired you have to request a new one then you will get this password change in window here you can create a new password without having any of your old password or any other verification method that's how to recover your google or gmail password and you can log back into your account using this new password but after following all these steps still you couldn't log back into your account all you have to do watch the error fixing videos in the description or you can click this one of end screen video and come on over so see you in the latest tutorial bye